Hey everybody, Eric here with just Eric Personal. Um, so take two. Um, tried this hours ago, but it didn't work. Um, this week is National Eating Disorder Awareness Week. Um, it started on the um, it started on the 23rd. Um, let's see here, I'm looking at the NIDA website right now. Um, the National Eating Disorder Awareness website, uh, which I will link below. Um, yeah. Sorry, I just got something on my face. Um, the theme of it is, uh, let's see. The theme of it is, I didn't know, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think it's called I Didn't Know. Um, so, a lot of people don't know that they have uh, eating disorders. I didn't. Uh, my dad tortured me. He um, did uh, a lot of horrible things to me. He starved me, and I had to binge when there was food around. So, um, I just never was in the mindset of what I was doing was wrong. Um, or anything like that, and he made me, um, do a lot of physical punishment, um, as far as holding, uh, objects out, out in front of me for hours on end, um, to the point where I'd be shaking, um, and then if those objects, you know, if my arms started going down, he would, uh, he would beat me, um, uh, stuff like that, um, so I kind of got used to the over exercising or whatever and not eating much. Um, you know, I stopped uh, like I didn't exercise for a while, but then I got into sports and I started exercising. And I just never knew what a healthy amount was as far as exercise. I never knew how much was too much, how much was too little, and my mom would talk to me about over exercising sometimes and. I just blew her off because I thought, well, it's, it's not a big deal, you know. I didn't see it. I didn't see what was going on. Um, and then now, um, I think she's just having a hard time accepting my eating disorder, you know, accepting that it's there and stuff like that. Um, but I, you know, as per the fact that I'm an activist and everything, I want to bring awareness um, towards this. So, um, I can't promise anything, but if I can, um, I'm going to possibly, um, I know of one video that I'm going to make, I don't know if it'll be short or long, but, but, um, you know, if it'll be short or long, or, or what, it, how long it'll be, or whatever, but, um, it's, uh, not advice, I'm not giving advice anymore, I don't do nutrition anymore. But, um, I'm going to more do videos exposing, okay, exposing things, um, in nutrition, um, false labeling, uh, primarily false lab, like false labeling, um, the fact that you pay for packaging, stuff like that, um, so, yeah, um, that's it, you know, I, I didn't know I had one, um, it's a good theme, it, it hits right where it needs to hit for me, um, yeah, it hits right where it needs to hit and everything, uh, like that, it, um, uh, da, da, da. uh, and I just clicked on, um, the 26th on here, it says, did you know that eating disorders affect people from all races and ethnicities? Um, join us today and listen to the webinar, Eating Disorders in African American Communities, to learn about the prevalence and seriousness of these issues, or illnesses, rather. Um, uh, eating disorders, no, no boundaries, so get in the know. That's true. Nobody is safe. Men get eating disorders. I am a man. I'm a... Uh, soon to be 23 year old male and I have an eating disorder, a severe eating disorder. Um, no matter what, 
if you've just started out uh, in your eating disorder, whether you did it to be skinny, whether you did, you know, whatever reason you did it, um, however long you've been sick, whether you've been in the hospital before, if you've been in, you know, 10 times, 20 times, whatever, you deserve recovery. So don't think you don't, okay? Um, it's important to get recovered and stuff like that. So really just, you know, this is the worst mental illness you can have. It claims more lives than any other mental illness in the world, an eating disorder does. Um, it's not about the food at all, okay? It's not. It's not about the food. It's about how you feel inside about yourself and everything. I've come to realize just how much I really don't like myself at all. Um, and I didn't notice it before. I didn't really think about it, you know, is why. Um, you know, I don't know. I guess maybe it was some point at when my brother said that I wasn't ugly. And I was like, wait, people have told me I'm ugly for so long. Uh, or made me feel that way or whatever. And it... I don't know if that's kind of stuck in my head up until the time I got treatment. I don't know. Um, but anyway, the point is, you know, no matter what, you deserve recovery. Um, eating disorders are an addiction. They are classified as an addiction. It's an addiction to eating or not eating, binging, purging, exercising, whatever. Um, it's an addiction to exercise. Um, it, it, I mean, for me, I have a definite addiction to exercise, you know, um, and, you know, there's a addiction to helping others more than you help yourself and, and starving and binging and, and just whatever it is that you're suffering with. Um, and an eating disorder is also self-harm. Is considered self-harm uh, because there are so many medical issues that that I've had, you know, and that I still have um, depression and stuff um, that go along with an eating disorder because you need food to make your brain release endorphins and serotonin and stuff like that. Your brain actually shrinks when you have an eating disorder. Um, your brain gets smaller. So, um, yeah. Uh, Alright, love y'all, God bless, take care, and thanks for watching. I'm going to put the Nita website down below.